All right, let's break down the spin outer crescent kick, and then we're also gonna break down the combination in the form it happens in. So, in third degree black belt form, there's a part where after I do a high-low ridge, and a high-low, or high-low inner form block and a high-low ridge, whichever hand is low is the foot that has to do the outer crescent kick and the spin outer crescent kick. Let's move this out of the way so we can see this one, okay? So right here, my right foot is going to do the outer crescent kick. And right here, there's two theories. Theory number one is I can drop the foot back here. Theory number two is I can put it here. But the most important thing for the speed of the combo is that your weight stays on this leg because you're going to be kicking with this leg twice in a row. Because of that, you don't have time to put weight on that thing. So from here, I have to outer, and I can set as long as the weight stays here. Boom, right there, okay? So, right here, outer crest kick, boom, spin, outer crest kick. Then, if I can control it, then I can show the judges my hand foot timing when I land that twin knife hand block. One more thing as we go. Um, my instructor gave me this ninja tip that I never forgot on outer crescent kicks. With outer crescent kicks, I'm not ready to kick until the moment that I'm able to point my kicking toes at the target. Once my kicking toes are at the target, my hip is aligned and ready to kick. If I can't point my kicking toes at the target, and the pinnacle of my kick is always going to be off. It's going to be on the way down. So, with that spin kick right here, I can't kick until my hip goes first so my toes can point. Once my toes can point, I can get the maximum pinnacle on the way for that kick. So, third degrees, that covers the outer spin outer combo. A little bit of a breakdown on how to make your spin outer crest kicks more controlled. Go practice.